Are there any sacrifices that you've made? No, I'm having time in my life. This is exactly what I want to be doing. I love technological challenges. I love trying to contribute and uh, have a great, great team. No, this is a lot of fun. How to build a skyscraper with greenhouse gas. Back in 2015, the NRG Cosia Carbon X Prize was launched as a $20 million prize. And today, there are just 10 finalists left. It's 100 times stronger than steel and about eight times lighter, harder than a diamond, and thinner than human hair, carbon nanotubes. It's one of the strongest materials on the planet, and it's made from thin air. Meet Team Carbon Corp from Ashburn, Virginia, USA. They make this miracle material. Virtually everything in this room and outside can be made out of carbon nanotubes, but can be made better and less expensive. This table, I can lift with one finger. Electric transport, whether it's ships or cars or planes. And just like the Jetson age, we can build skyscrapers to the clouds because they're very lightweight, super strong structural materials. What's more, the team have figured out how to make nanotubes by pulling CO2 out of the air. First, Captured CO2 from flue gas is liquefied and flows into a large chamber where lithium carbonate and lithium oxide are melted. This is then followed by a direct electrical current which pulls out the wool-like carbon nanotubes. And these can be woven into textiles and construction material. The entire reaction is powered by solar energy. Carbon Corpse nanotubes are also an inexpensive way of creating a valuable product that is worth a thousand times more than coal. It makes sense. You make money converting CO2 into these materials. We can run like lemmings off the cliff, or we can have a technology that's so exciting and so attractive and so incentivized that it just happens. That's what we're doing here.